His name was Seth Rich. He worked for the DNC, and he allegedly leaked some documents to WikiLeaks. A new report has surfaced from a private investigator who was looking into Seth Rich, and apparently he had contacted WikiLeaks shortly before his death. Let's take a look at the Fox 5 report, and we'll go from there. Now to a Fox 5 exclusive. It's been almost a year since DNC staffer Seth Rich was murdered. Still, no solid answers until now. Someone shot and killed Rich last July in Northwest. Now, police suggested the killing in the Bloomdale neighborhood was a botched robbery, but online conspiracy theories tied the murder to Rich's work at the Democratic National Committee. Fox 5's Marina Morocco joins us now with what could be a big break in the investigation. Marina. Tony, Sean, we are just two months shy of the one-year anniversary of Seth Rich's murder. And ever since we learned Rich was a DNC staffer, the conspiracy theories online have taken a life of their own. But today, Fox 5 has learned there is new information that could prove these theorists are, in fact, right. New information from the family's private investigator suggests there is tangible evidence on Seth Rich's laptop that confirms he was communicating with WikiLeaks prior to his death. Now, the question is, why has D.C. police, as the lead agency on the investigation for the past 10 months insisted this was a botched robbery when till this day there is no evidence to suggest that. The Rich family hired Rod Wheeler, a former MPD homicide detective, to run a parallel investigation into their son's death. Wheeler says he believes there's a cover-up and the police department has been told to back down from the investigation. This is where things get interesting. Because apparently, as this person claims, the FBI is completely uncooperative. The police department nor the FBI has been forthcoming. They haven't been cooperating at all. I believe that the answer to solving his death lies on that computer, which I believe is either at the police department or either at, at the FBI. I've been told both. But you have sources at the FBI saying that there is information For that sure. could link... Seth Rich to WikiLeaks? Absolutely. Yeah, and that's confirmed. Actually, I have a source inside the police department that has looked at me straight in the eye and said, Rod, we were told to stand down in this case, and I can't share any information with you. Now, that's highly unusual for a murder investigation, especially from a police department. Again, I don't think it comes from the chief's office, but I do believe there is a correlation between the mayor's office and the DNC. And that's the information that's going to come out tomorrow. So keep your eyes and ears open, everybody, over the next few days, especially because there appears to be an anticipation of new evidence around Seth Rich. What is there to really speculate on this? Well, Seth Rich used to work for the DNC, and he was the source, I would imagine, for a lot of the emails that WikiLeaks had received. And we'll take a look at this little email that was sent by none other than alleged child trafficking guru John Podesta, otherwise known as Podesta the Molesta. This email was sent by John Podesta on February 22nd, 2015 at 6 12 p.m agree happy to talk to the davids call me crazy but i think we can survive the next month it will be possible maybe even straightforward to get our arms around this once there is an actual campaign i'm definitely for making an example of a suspected leaker whether or not we have any real basis for it jp Here's another interesting tweet I found on my timeline. Seth Rich fits into the redacted space in batch of FBI Hillary Clinton emails. He was assassinated after allegedly giving info to WikiLeaks. And as you can see here, the redacted space fits his name perfectly. And the statement reads, All of the documents provided by redacted space, which fits perfectly Seth Rich, are being attached in a blank... Uh, it cuts off so you can't see the full thing but you can tell very clearly that it's either his name or somebody with a very very similar name but considering the timing i don't think it's at all outrageous to think that that's exactly whose name goes in that redacted space a washington post article titled trump revealed highly classified information to russian foreign minister and ambassador was 
released less than an hour after the controversial Seth Rich um, article on Fox 5. A lot of people are speculating that this whole Russia, 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 Ma Russia, Russian influence, Russia owns WikiLeaks narrative uh, was uploaded in an attempt to combat the Seth Rich article that was uploaded less than an hour previous. His name was Seth Rich, and he was a Democrat. His name was Seth Rich, and he was a leaker. And he leaked documents and emails that very likely led to his mysterious murder. Keep your eyes open, everybody, and your ears. And if you find anything... Feel free to hit me up and let me know. I'm very interested in the subject. And I'm going to keep my eyes open myself over the next day or so specifically regarding the Seth Rich case. I feel like we're onto something, folks. You have to ask yourself, if Julian Assange is really in Vladimir Putin's pocket, then how come he's living out of a literal embassy in Ecuador? Would he not have access to a much better living standard if he was working for the Russian government. I don't think a lot of people are buying the garbage that we are seeing on TV. As a resident of California, which is known as a libtard haven, I run into almost exclusively conservatives and people who are hesitant Trump supporters. There are a few people that actually drink the Kool-Aid and believe everything that they see on Facebook. A lot of people are very skeptical because it's being hand-fed to them, ironically enough. It appears as though, in a free society, propaganda has an opposite effect, if not cleverly disguised. I'm going to end this video with very wise words from a man with whom I have a lot of respect for. This is a concerted effort. This is a concerted effort. Politics of personal destruction. Fuck you, John Podesta. All right, well, you see where I'm coming from. Okay, yeah. When I, when I talk, that's because I'm interested in this ongoing whatever the hell they're doing. What's in your closet, John Podesta? <laughs> big Podesta, big Soros. Do you want us to play these games? Because we're playing to win.